Hello there, my name is Cisco Tellerino, and today I'm going to be talking about dress codes in the workplace and how to understand and differentiate them. So to start this, I want you to imagine you just graduated college, you just got your degree, and you're going into a business place and applying for your first job. So you sit down at the interviewer's desk and you let him know, hi, I would like a job. Uh, he looks you up and down one time, though, and you realize you are completely underdressed. You're wearing a t-shirt and a backwards hat. Almost like you're not supposed to belong there. Now the question is, do you think you've made a good first impression? Do you think you're going to get this job? The short answer, probably not. In this scenario I just described to you, dress codes are extremely important to follow in order to get a job that you want until the day you die. So a nice dress code for men would be a nice dress shirt and some suit pants or khakis. Um, things you would want to avoid are t-shirts and shorts of any kind. I don't think anyone would like those. And for women, blouses and skirts of appropriate length is something I would strive for. With a dress code, there comes precautions that you need to consider following if you want to complete the whole business look. So the first one uh, would be showering or proper hygiene. This one should be a given. I shouldn't have to tell you to go take a shower before you go to a job interview, but I am anyways. Um, the next one is brushing or combing your hair sufficiently. You don't want to walk in wearing a nice suit and just having your hair all over the place. And along with that is getting a haircut. You want to make sure that your hair is styled nicely and professionally, like for a job that you dream of. Next one is clipping your finger and toenails. You don't want to shake your interviewer's hand and scratch him with your fingernails or anything of that sort. And last but not least is brush your teeth. You don't want to be walking in there with a yellow smile or maybe even bad breath. I don't think that would make a good first impression either. Even though I already mentioned a dress code in this presentation, some firm's dress codes can be hard to follow and there could be no concrete rules. And as there's not one amongst all businesses, all firms are different. So, for example, if you're working for a laid-back company, you may want to wear more casual clothing than, say, professional. Um, ways that you could figure this out, you can consult your employee handbook, you could ask in the interview, or you could even contact your HR department. Most businesses have two different dress codes that they like to use, a casual and a formal, which I'm going to differentiate. So for starters, a casual will usually consist of things like khakis, collared shirts, and sweaters. It gives you more of a relaxed look if not much is going on in the office. Versus a formal dress code, which is more professional, it requires things such as a collared button-down shirt with a tie along with a suit jacket and either suit pants or a dress skirt depending on your gender. A question that many are asking is, why are dress codes necessary in workplaces? Why do we need them? Why do we need to follow them? Well, there's actually a lot of psychological effects that can happen if you're wearing them in workplaces. One being that uh, you can get a lot more productivity done. There's been studies that show you're more motivated when you dress nicer. You know, you dress for the job you want. And also, if your whole workforce is dressing together, it kind of gives a sense of unity and teamwork. If it ever crossed your mind to work internationally, I've also added some factors that other countries do not allow in their dress codes. For instance, Japan does not allow women to wear nail polish at work. And China actually has several things prohibited, such as white socks, mini skirts, and high heels. <laughs> Bottom line, dress codes in the workplace are vital to know and understand in order to earn and sustain a well-paying job in a sophisticated firm. I'm Cisco Tallarino. Thank you for watching.